happy Sunday, Earthlies. I hope you all are having a good one so far. The King of Cups. Spirit, why is this King of Cups showing up in the reading for the Earthlies today? Uh, don't forget, I don't say this often, I don't think, but make sure you all like, subscribe, and share. What is going on with the Earthly Spirit with this King of Cups? Oh, we got the Devil card. Hmm. What's going on with Virgos, please? Excuse me, y'all. I'm a little congested. Try to excuse me. Somebody here is possibly uh, being, a, being a little blunt with what they're saying to, to someone. Um, and you, you got somebody feeling a little bit defensive about what it is that you are saying. Okay. Um, I don't think you realize just how, um, um, how harsh you've said something to somebody. Um, and you were, when you said it, you meant it. Yeah. But at the same time, it kind of hurt, kind of hurt somebody's feelings, uh, somebody's feelings. Um, but you and this person have a real, a real I guess, fucked up relationship, though. It doesn't have to be a lover, okay? Um, this person wants to come home or, or come to to, to you um, with their burden, um, or maybe you are each other's burden. Maybe you get on each other's nerves. You know, uh, the feelings are there. You care and love each other, but uh, somebody has some some negative energy and and. You know, it, it kind of rubs you the wrong way. It's like, man, you know, how, how much of this am I going? Am I, am I going to keep taking? I can't take any more of this. You know, you get so mad and you get so angry at one another. You know, things say things are said, but you know, um, at in the heat of the moment. But you know, you got somebody here. Is, is you're standing up to this person, or this person is standing up to you? Uh, they feel judged. They feel that you're nitpicky. And you, you, this, the things that you say, uh, Virgo, are the things that you do. This person feels that they have to really, really uh, stand, stand, up, stand up to you, but you know, they're doing it in, in a, like a negative way. Okay, they're doing it, and they're doing it in a way of almost as if they're disrespecting you uh, uh, of what your your rules, what it is that you're saying, and they don't want to listen. You know, they create a whole bunch of these problems for themselves and you're only you're only trying to tell them something for their own good but they don't want to listen okay yeah they definitely feel that you're judging them and that may not be the case that's just who you are you know you try to just tell tell somebody stuff for their own good maybe they're hanging around with people who um who are very are bad for them okay i have the devil core but also i have the five of wands so this is an argument about the company that the company that this person is keeping and you, you lock an ass with this person and, and they're not really understanding where you're coming from. This could be a, a child, okay? Or or a young adult or somebody. They're pissing you off. <laughs> they're really, really pissing you off. You know, maybe this person is asking for money or something or you're constantly giving and doing for this person and this person doesn't want to listen to what you say. Uh, some of you all are struggling around the finances too. And that's another issue. We got the Eight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and we got the Pentacles here. Some of you all are, are, are going to end up in a relationship where you won't have to worry about money. Um, something um, beautiful is going to enhance. It's going to it's going to enhance your finances in your life, but it's also going to enrich the life of your child. Okay, or this young person who you're having issues, they're going to have some enriching moments in in their life with this new person that you're going to be in a connection with. Okay. And that's why you're actually headed. You're headed headed away from the burdens of everyday life with what's going on with this person, and you're headed toward love. You're headed toward a relationship with somebody else, and you all want to create a, a, a family. Okay, family is going to be uh, enhanced. We got the magician. This person is is, is kind of weave some shit together uh, to make themselves look good. They probably lie on you. Um, say you did this or said this, and it wasn't true. If you did, it, they took it like the wrong way. 
Um, this person likes to weave stories together, kind of like they, they like to lie, you know, to make themselves be played to play the victim. They want to play the victim. OK, uh, we got marriage here, a, con a connection, a committed relationship coming for you. And I think this relationship is going to help uh, the situation in your home. I really do. Uh, there are a lot of things on your mind. There's a lot of things, things on your plate that you're hung up on at this point in time. Uh, you want to get out. You want to leave this person behind, but you can't because you love them. OK, we got the wheel. Um, I see a beautiful connection coming for you with love. No matter what it is that you're going through with this person who you're locking ass with, who you're banging those horns against Virgo or with, you still have this love coming for you. That is, Some of you are already in a connection that's going to, to turn into something deeper, on a deeper emotional level for you. But you got this one thorn in your side, this person who just won't listen. Ten of Cups. And we got lovers. So all of this stuff that you're going to, through, this relationship that you're currently in or will be in, is going to help ease ease the pain of what what this I'm hearing adolescent or what this person is that's going that that's going through in their life. Their life is going to be enhanced by by your love life. It really really is. That's that's amazing for you. That is amazing for you. It's up to you. You're ready. Okay. Let's clarify this. It's up to you. Are you ready? Some of you may not be ready for a relationship or um, I do see it here being a single parent, but excuse me. Um, you may not be willing to go deep into this connection or move further into this connection with somebody, but it's up to you if this is something that you want because you feel that, yeah, I'm having too many issues with my child or other issues in my life. And, and I don't have I don't I can't be open to love right now, but maybe love is open for you. Maybe this person who is coming into your life or who is already in your life is going to be a stepping stone for the issues that are going on in your relationship with your with your child. It's, it's going to be this person is going to come into your life because you're ready. OK, but you're going through some things with somebody in your household. So or in your your uh, vicinity or whatever it is that this person is around you. So um, so you may be going through some stuff and you say, well, I'm tired of this. I can't get anything to go my way. And this person is getting on my last fucking nerves. I don't have a life. I don't have a life. I don't have time for a, a relationship right now. But maybe the relationship has time for you. Get more information. Okay. Why is this card to get more information here for Virgos? Yeah. On the so yeah, some of y'all may have to get some therapy for your child. Um uh, some kind of program or to sit down with, with a mediator or whatever to figure out what's going on in this child's life. If you're a single parent, this probably this person's probably going through some bullying or going through some uh some daddy issues or excuse me, mother issues in their life that's making it hard for them to get through with school get through school it's hard for you to get through to this person because they have so many toxic uh things going on with them and around them in their life so it's kind of hard for this person to cope this child or adolescent to um to cope and it's making it hard so you need to get more information getting help outside help because you can't you can't uh it's not that you can't handle it Michael, but you know sometimes um, other, other, uh, other help is needed. And I see you, things are getting better for you in your love life, but your child or somebody around you is going through some shit. Okay. They're feeling like an outcast. They're feeling like nobody loves them. Um, they're feeling like they're coming unglued is unhinged. Some of them may have some mental issues that they're not dealing with, that they don't know how to deal with. Some, some of them sadly may be suicidal, you know, um, and they just don't feel that um, I'm, I'm hearing that they feel that their backs are against the wall. OK, and they don't know what to do. They're in a dark place, Virgo. And I think that this relationship that's coming to you is going to bring stability into your household. You got this male that's or female that's coming into your life who's going to be a part of your who's going to become a part of your family. OK.
we got communication here too. This person is going to be able to open your, your person up and talk to them and take them kind of another level. They're going to take on some of the burden that's going on in the household. Okay. Some of your burden. They don't want you doing this alone. This person is very, very loyal to you. Very, very loyal to the cause that's going on in your household. Um, open up. Okay. Be willing to, to allow this person to come in and love you and, and whoever it is that needs that help, because they're going to bring some sustenance to the dinner table. They're going to bring some sustenance to the dinner table. And I'm not talking about food. Okay. I hope this message resonates with you, Virgo. Uh, I hope this message is finding the people or person that it's meant to find. Talk to you later.